Hello everyone this is Dr Jayanti Ravindran from Tamira Plastic Surgery So let's talk about alopecia areata Many of you have had instances when you had loss of patch of hair from your scalp a condition when you lose a coin shaped area of uh, hair from the scalp the condition could be alopecia areata Alopecia areata is a medical condition many of them have hair loss because of nutritional deficiencies maybe because of improper lifestyle use of harsh chemicals on the hair uh, many uh, such reason but there are also certain medical conditions which cause hair loss uh, two similar condition is one is alopecia areata and another one which is always confused with this is fungal infection of the scalp in this condition a patient loses a coin shaped area of uh, hair loss from the scalp what is the cause of alopecia areata alopecia areata is an autoimmune condition this means that the defense mechanism of your body is producing auto antibodies which is uh, acting against certain uh, targets in the hair root because of this you lose hair uh, as patches from the scalp but you can also lose hair as patches from the body as well and sometimes this can progress to a state where it can be converted to a condition called alopecia totalis where you lose hair from the scalp from eyebrows uh, all over the body how is alopecia areata diagnosed when a patient experiences patchy loss of hair especially when it's like coin shaped it can happen in children too you have to consult a specialist who deals with hair loss it could be a dermatologist or a plastic surgeon specializing in hair so how is alopecia areata diagnosed after a detailed clinical examination we do what is called a trichoscopic examination using a magnified uh, um, trichoscope followed by which we do a series of blood tests to detect any auto antibodies in the blood then a small tissue from the area of alopecia or hair loss is taken and sent for histopathological examination and this process is called scalp biopsy it's a very minor procedure done in the outpatient clinic once the diagnosis is confirmed the treatment process involves two steps one treating the disease process and second to help regrowth of hair treating the disease process usually involves suppressing the body's immune mechanism if it's a single patch this is done by treating the patch locally intralesional injection of steroids which is called triamcinolone is injected into the lesion it is done once in 3 to 4 weeks and repeated maybe 3 4 uh, times till this disease process is under remission but when you have multiple patches because injecting too much of steroids in all these patches can in future lead to diabetes or other side effects of steroids certain medications are given orally there is also another reason why Uh, oral medication is given because if there's a rapid progress of the condition and you have hair loss from multiple body areas we give oral uh, immunosuppressant some of the steroids have lot of side effects so uh, uh, one of the other alternate options for immunosuppression is a group of medication called jk inhibitors we give them under supervision and every 2 months the complete blood count is tested and uh, the uh, other uh, side effects of these medications are monitored once the disease process is brought under control there is usually complete regrowth of hair in the area where you lose as patches so my friends alopecia areata is a treatable condition it needs to be diagnosed at an early stage so that with minimal medication full recovery can be obtained however in some situation it continues to progress the disease process can be brought under remission we cannot say it is completely cured because it can recur again good lifestyle modification and maintaining stress levels helps to keep the disease under remission